Farmers who provide your food are now feeling the squeeze of inflation, paying significantly higher prices for weed killers, seeds, and fertilizer, and labor, and everything else. One state estimates that farmers could see their net income drop 65%. Roots here run deep for Dave Tees, fifth generation to farm this land. This year, that means digging deeper into his budget. We're probably looking anywhere from 10 to 20% of our input costs being higher. My cost of my inputs on everything we use on the farm every day is just, it's through, through the roof and sky high. We're trying to buy as much as we can right now. Uh, so that we don't uh, get impacted by continuing uh, high prices. I, I heard the uh, price just went up this week to $21 a bale. He says at this time last year, a bale was about $17. President Biden on December 10th said that he thought inflation was at its peak. The quote was, I think it's the peak of the crisis. It was not. And I remember very clearly our conversations over the summer when we were t you were talking about inflation being transitory. It was not. I think in general, everybody's going to have to get prices up still a little bit in order to be sustainable. That's my hope and prayer is that I at least get the break even point. It, whether it happens or not, I don't know. We've gone from 280,000 family farms in Tennessee down to 60,000. That works out to an average of six farms a day, six family farms a day that are disappearing from the state of Tennessee. The price increase for January 2022 alone was a full percentage point. Even at a local farm, everything from the energy to regulate the greenhouses to the plastic containers for the plants comes from somewhere else. And that is getting more expensive. Going forward, we're definitely going to have to ask for for uh, more money for our crops to try to compensate that, which is sad because it goes directly to the consumer. Wholesale uh, price inflation, 9.7%, the inflation rate, the 12 month inflation rate, that is a really hot number. It really is devastating to the rural communities, but it also has an impact on food security. There's really no insurance out there for for high inputs and high, you know, uh, high cost. If food, trade, and energy services are taken out of January's data, inflation is still hovering right around a whole percentage point. Last year we paid uh, probably $700 to $600 for a ton of fertilizer, and it's going to be $12 to maybe $1,400 for the same fertilizer this year. It's always been a good living. It's always been profitable. But, you know, this year I, I ask myself every day, how am I going to make a profit?